Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at Maryland Matters, where the White House is launching a new push to help states remove lead pipes that carry drinking water. And as we know, when lead pipes get corroded due to weather or other effects, maybe just time itself, then lead particles start to get in the water and we get exposed to it. And there's no safe amount of exposure of lead for anyone. It's especially detrimental to younger people, infants, babies, and young children. So what is the White House doing? The White House on Friday announced plans to speed up the use of infrastructure law funds to replace lead pipes in underserved communities with a focus on Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin beginning this year, 2023. The four states led by Democratic governors will be part of what's called the Lead Service Replacement Accelerators Program in collaboration with the Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Labor. The administration characterized it as a way to drive progress in the use of Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, funding dedicated to remove and replacing lead lines that carry drinking water to homes and schools. And exposure to lead in drinking water, particularly in children or pregnant women, can cause lasting neurological damage. And lead is not safe for anyone, but when children get exposed to it, it can cause a lot of developmental issues, mental issues, and even impair them for life, lower IQs, and cause other issues like organ failure. Our lead service line replacement accelerators demonstrate our commitment to ensuring every community has access to safe, clean drinking water, EPA Administrator Michael Reagan said in a statement Friday. By leveraging the historic investment made possible by bipartisan infrastructure law, we are one step closer to achieving President Biden's vision of 100% lead-free water systems for all. Now, how is this going to affect other people? The new initiative is meant to bring hands-on support and technical assistance from the EPA to guide communities through the lead service line removal process. The assistance might include help completing federal grant and loan applications or expertise in finding labor contractors. Up to 10 million households and 400,000 schools and child care centers have lead service lines, according to the White House. So that's quite a lot. A lot of people think that lead service lines are quite rare. As we see here, up to 10 million households is a lot, 400,000 schools. There's a huge problem with lead service lines that does need to be addressed. It should be the right of every occupant of this earth and certainly of our country to have clean water. Let's just start there. And now let's understand because many may not be aware, sadly, that it's not a right that's guaranteed by all the occupants of this country, said Vice President Kamala Harris at the Accelerating Lead Pipe Replacement Summit held on Friday at the White House. In many communities, families, children, and parents cannot take for granted that they will turn on a tap and the clean water will come out. I think we should all agree there's nothing about this that should be considered a luxury or an option, Harris said during the summit's keynote conversation with Reagan. Invited guests who attended the summit include mayors, philanthropic organizations, advocacy groups, and community leaders. And this is going to be interesting to see how this is done. And while this is great to start replacing lead pipes, especially in these areas, there's still a lot of them in the U.S. And even replacing all lead pipes or replacing pipes altogether may not stop it completely. So for that reason, even though this is a good initiative, it's always a good idea to periodically test your water for any levels of lead.